Hello everyone, welcome to my channel RPG Retro Reviews. I'm Captain Courageous and I review old school modules and games and try to give them a fun and informative analysis. This week I'm taking a look at the Goodman Games Original Adventures Reincarnated release on The Lost City. However, before we begin, a real quick channel announcement. I would like to invite you to visit my Teespring store, Ye Old School Shop. I've engaged the talents of fantasy artists James V. West and Phil Stone to create these wonderful art pieces that encourage the viewer to game on. Another great way to help support the channel and get some great swag to bring to your gaming table. From your official gaming t-shirt to a bag to carry your game stuff or just a mug to hold the brew of your choice while you slay orcs and dragons. Check out yeoldschoolshop.com. Patrons to the channel receive a 15% discount on all merchandise. The checkout code is in your Patreon messages. Links to my Teespring store, Ye Old School Shop, and purchase links are below the description. What other old school style images would you like to see? Please let me know in the comments below, and your idea might just show up in the shop. All right, with that bit of business out of the way, let's begin. Goodman Games Original Adventures Reincarnated series has really been a big hit with me, of course, as this sort of old school revisitation is right up my alley. An opportunity to look back at the history of Dungeons and Dragons and to read some articles from the authors and editors who were originally involved in the production of a classic module that I love. So when I heard that they were going to produce the Lost City, a module that had already rated quite highly, I was very excited about it. The Lost City was released in 1982. It was written by basic D&D author Tom Maldvey and was the first adventure module written and produced specifically for the new D&D basic game. The module ranked number 28 on Dungeon Magazine's list of 30 greatest adventures of all time, but in a lot of ways it's an overlooked classic and I would put it in my personal top 10. Tom Maldvey's other D&D adventure modules are also highly rated classics and include Castle Amber, and the classic module included in the expert set, The Isle of Dread. The three modules together are sometimes referred to as Maldvey's Pulp Fantasy Trilogy, though plot-wise they have no connection other than in theme. As I said, I've already reviewed this module, so I'm not going to go in into full detail on the module itself, so you might wish to check out my review for the full Monty, but briefly, the module is clearly meant to emulate the classic pulp fantasy trope of a group of heroes discovering a forgotten, once great civilization that has fallen into decay and teeters on the brink of collapse. After they become separated from a merchant's caravan during a sandstorm and running low on food and water, the heroes happen upon a ruined city in the center of which is a massive step pyramid, the top tier adorned by three 30-foot tall statues. Climbing to the top will reveal Nothing initially but a careful search will ultimately uncover a secret door beneath the steps that leads into the pyramid and that's really where the adventure begins. What follows is a 100 room dungeon crawl odyssey that will involve the PCs in the plight of a buried decaying city, Synodicia, and the four major factions of the city fighting for dominance, as well as the 100 rooms of the pyramid that actually has an additional five inverted levels, there is the city itself, much of which was left to the DM to flesh out in the original module. My D20 rating for this module was a 17. Very good. This video will primarily concentrate on the differences and additions in the Goodman Games version. Obviously, this is made for the 5th edition rules of Dungeons & Dragons, but given the price of a good quality original printing of this module on eBay, it's probably a great value even f for the old school enthusiast, as it includes a high quality reprint of the original module, some great reimaginings of the original maps, interviews and trivia on the original module, an interview with former TSR line editor Harold Johnson, a retrospective look at the work of Tom Maldvey, written by indie game designer James Malazuski, as well as a slew of brand new material added to the original module. The book itself is thick, coming in at a whopping 326 pages. The bindings on the book are cloth and stitched, so it lays flat for easy reading on the table and comes with two ribbon sewn bookmarks. Thus, this is an extremely high quality product. I got mine off of Amazon for only $30. 
Tom Maldvey passed away in 2007. He was only 58 years old, and at the time, the OSR movement was really just beginning to gain its momentum. In later years, the BX edition of D&D would see a phenomenal reinsurgence in popularity, and with that, a newfound appreciation for Maldvey's work. Goodman Games' revisitation of the Lost City module is only one such example, and in many ways, it saddens me a little that he didn't get the opportunity to see it. With all that said, there's a lot of awesomeness here. I especially like the handouts in the back of the book, which can be photocopied and given to the players. And I say photocopied because the biggest downside to all of the reincarnated modules is that official PDFs are not available. It would be nice, however, if this section alone was made available in PDF form so the handouts could at least be printed. So unless you have a scanner at home, you'll have to do things the old-fashioned way and make a trip to the copy store, which from a certain perspective reinforces the old-school nature of things. I mean, that's how we did it back in the day, as they say. However, the handouts are great, including the redo of the equipment fast pack, which was introduced in the original module, that allows a new gaming group to quickly equip themselves and get ready for adventure. In addition to an update to the 5e rules and new renditions of the original maps, Goodman's Games' revisitation of the Lost City also incorporates some material from Dungeon Magazine's Return to the City, Mask of Dreams. There's the Goblin Caves, the Hobgoblin Stronghold, a massive expansion to the Lower Caves, an area that was left blank in the original module for the DM to flesh out, is now fully detailed. There's the Dripping the Deer, a massive stalactite that is the lair of the Mind Flayer, Cephalacor, and many other new locales for the players to explore. A ton of monsters, spells, and magic items from the D&D basic game make their way to this 5th edition update, including a helm of opposite alignment, monsters like Caryated Columns, and the Thule. Goodman Games didn't skimp on the artwork for this D&D classic, with some truly masterful pieces, which I'd like to take a little time and share with you here. Here's a little artwork montage for you, so just sit back, relax a moment, and let your imagination run wild. Like so many classic modules of the time, the Lost City's ambition exceeded its page count. It's good to see this classic module finally get its due. In conclusion, this isn't just an update to a classic D&D locale, but a massive expansion to it as well. The contents provide for a campaign that will allow the characters to reach their mid-tier levels or higher, and that's not including things that an enterprising DM might add on their own. Old school or new school, this is a worthy addition to Tom Maldvey's classic pulp exploration adventure. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you found this video informative and useful. 
Next week, I'm going to delve into a fantastic and amazing, fairly new virtual tabletop called Vorpal Board and another OSR review for you, White Box. As usual, I'd like to give a big shout out to all of my wonderful patrons. Your continued support makes these videos possible. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this old school module review, please help support the channel by giving it a like, comment, and share. Check out my Teespring store, Ye Old School Shop. Follow me on Twitter and join the channel's Facebook page, RPG Retro Reviews. Consider supporting the channel and more content like this by becoming a patron yourself. Or alternatively, you can just leave a tip in my PayPal tip jar. Links for everything is in the description. And as always, my friends, may your d20 roll true and game on. <laughs>